Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Jim from Jim Shape Coding. On this tutorial, we are going to discuss about a solution of how you can solve problems in a Python program. Well, if you know or not, whenever we have an issue that makes our program to act weird or in a way we don't want to, the proper way to define this is with a word called bug. Basically, a bug is a problem on your code. So this is why almost every IDE has its own debugging tool and this is what we are going to focus on today. Just to mention we are going to learn how to debug your program in a big picture way just to be familiar because this is a way advanced topic to cover all its features and for more advanced episodes that are going to come soon you will be thankful that you know how to debug your program. We are checking here if someone is younger than 24 and if he is, he will get a bonus of $500 and if he is older than 24, he will get a bonus of $1000. And finally, we print it in the last line here. So why debugging can help us specifically on this program? Because we have a situation here where we are trying to override some variable regarding to some condition if it is true or false. So you see, I have the monthly salary in the first line and then I try to override this on this line or on this line. Whatever my condition is going to return me, true or false, this variable is going to be override by some value and this is why debugging can help me here so I could be aware of what is the value of that monthly salary on each line of code. So let's see how you can start debugging. Basically what you have to do is going to that episode 17 tab here for example or whatever your file name is you have to click right click here and then press debug episode 17 which is my file name and when I press this the program is starting and now if I write here 21 this is going to be executed like it is but if you want to debug to actually take effect what you have to do is selecting a point where you want your program to be stopped immediately and then from there you can press some key on your keyboard in this situation PyCharm works with F8 and then every time you press that F8 key the program will execute only one line of code let me show you so in this situation it is the best to mark this line of code as a breakpoint. This is how it is called. And a breakpoint is like a marker to Python that it understands where to stop the entire execution. And once it stops, it passes you the control to execute one line at a time. So basically what I have to do is going to this area and pressing the left click and there you see a a really weird red dot just appeared here and this is what called a breakpoint. Now if I debug this program one more time what will happen is simply the lines 1 and 2 being executed and we already know that input is going to wait until I put some value here and when I put 21 the program is being stopped. Now let's see what we have here and we have here a lot of information. So as you see in the frame below, we have here all the variables that stored in the Python memory because we have the monthly salary and age being executed and this is why you see them here below. And also if you want to take a look on the variables value, you have also a gray text here where you can see the value. As you see, we have here age equals to 21 and we could not know the value of 21 without the debugging, all right? Because we just passed it as an information because this was an input. So now if we execute one line, you see, because the age was lower than 24, it shows me what line is being executed right now. And now if I press one more time to F8, you see that the frame below has been changed and the bonus equals to 500 
is being added. So this is why debugging could be so powerful, all right? As you see, I have so much information here. And this could really help you if you run into some issue when you develop some program. And if I press here F8 one more time, what do you think is going to happen? Well, what is going to happen is that it is going to jump over from this else statement because now that this expression was true, the if statement has nothing to do in the else area. So if I press here F8, it jumped right away to the last line of the program. And now we have one more line left until our program finishes. So let's press F8 once again. You see how the information in the frame below just disappeared. And this is because there are no lines left to execute. So this was a basic introduction of how you can debug your program. Anyways, the main goal of this episode was to let you understand how you can get out of a trouble that you may be stuck with for a long time. Also, this is a nice feature of programming to be familiar with. More than that, we are going to deal with loops in the next episode. So actually, I'm going to debug a lot when I talk about loops because debugging can actually help you understand how Python is being executed. And now let me say that with my new microphone, don't forget to crack the subscribe button and also like this video. I will see you in the next one.